Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Now your first card here is the Four of Pentacles. So I see you guys a bit restrictive right now, a bit protecting your heart. For some of you guys, uh, you may be dealing with a situation where you feel like you kind of have to put your walls up. Uh, it could be a feeling of being taken for granted or perhaps um, feeling a bit like not appreciated. And it's almost as if you're taking a step back from a situation. Now, what's crossing you as an obstacle is the Six of Cups. So for some of you guys, it could be uh, that you've been with a person or uh, in a relationship for quite a while. For some of you guys, it could be children that are involved. Now, you do have the Eight of Wands uh, in the past and passing. And you have the Temperance card. So I think that for some of you guys, it's almost a feeling as if... Uh, perhaps children are something that are that is very important to you or that you yourself have children um in this relationship and it's almost as if you're kind of putting up or dealing with certain things because you feel like you're doing you're looking out for your children or uh, they are a priority to you there's a lot of healing that needs to happen or that has been happening with you scorpio the temperance card also signifies timing so for some of you guys, it could be a situation that you've been dealing with for quite a while. Now you do have the Knight of Pentacles. You may be dealing with the Sagittarian type of energy, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type of energy as well. And what they're saying here with the Knight of Pentacles is that you're trying to stabilize either the relationship, you're trying to strengthen it. For others of you, you're waiting to hear from someone. Now, you do have the full card here, so there is definitely a new beginning. For some of you guys, it could be that there was a uh, some type of distancing that happened uh, between you and the person of your interest or your partner, and perhaps you haven't heard from them. Perhaps you don't know much about what's going on in their lives, um, but I do see a new beginning here. So what they're saying is that potentially there could be a reconnection. There could be... Uh, kind of like there is need for healing on your spectrum uh, it could be something that they're dealing with as well now you do have the high priestess here listen to your intuition scorpio i think that that's going to be very important for the remaining of the month going into the beginning of july uh, a lot of tapping into things that uh, you don't know how to explain for some of you guys it could be that angel numbers are following you for others of you it could be that uh, that person, that specific person that you're dealing or that you're missing could suddenly start to pop out their name. You find their name uh, in a truck or it's almost a feeling like the universe is kind of trying to bring you guys back together or pretty much link your paths um, back together again. Now you do have the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups is all about uh, emotional fulfillment. It's love overflowing or happiness overflowing. For some of you guys, uh, there is a reconciliation that's coming up if you are currently or have been uh, separated from the partner. With the Knight of Cups, I do see them still emotionally invested in you and I do see them coming on strong or coming back into your lives. Uh, for others of you, if you've been dealing with a situation, uh, if you've been single for quite a while and you're still stuck on an ex-partner, um, and it's almost the feeling like you just don't know how to explain it, but you just can't move on. What they're saying here is that uh, both of you guys came together. Timing is everything. And I think that uh, the reason why things didn't progress in this relationship has a lot to do with a lot of lessons that need to be learned on your side as well as the partner side. So I think that that's something you guys have both separately have been trying to uh, go through which is healing uh, understanding why we do certain things and it's almost um, healing energy that is currently like impacting you right now and could be highly impacting the partner as well but I do see them coming back around now for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship I think that there is certain things about you uh, Scorpio that you have a tendency of overdoing and you're not like you don't really understand why you do it 
Um, so the best, it, like the best example I can give is like sometimes when we're in relationships and we've been through so many difficulties um, and we come tainted and we find ourselves in a healthy relationship. Sometimes we don't know what to do about that or how to deal with that type of energy. It's almost like if your partner is very trusting, very caring, very nurturing, you're often finding yourself thinking like, have they lost interest in me because they're not being jealous, they're not being possessive, or you have a tendency of, you know, nitpicking at them or bringing up certain conversations that you know are going to either like make their jealousy kick in or that type of energy and it's not that you're doing it in a mean way or that you're doing it on purpose it has more to do with past traumatic events or past relationships where toxic traits uh was something that you dealt with on an everyday basis so the way you can connect or understand love is only if it's intense so when you go from that to a healthy relationship you're often thinking that they're not as interested or that their love is not as strong uh, and it's completely the opposite but because you could be that could be very foreign to you it's something that you tend to um, try to bring out their shadow side so what spirit is telling you is that find what it is that you need to heal because it's something that is very important and it could potentially affect your relationship moving forward if you don't keep that aligned um so like i said if you're dealing with the person that is extremely uh you're in an extremely healthy relationship but you've been used to that intense passionate type of connection to them it could become a potentially a turnoff or it could become an issue where they just don't want to deal with that type of energy so again it's about healing and learning the lessons that were supposed to be taught in past relationships and understanding that where you're at right now, are you happy? And if you are, and if you do feel the love, then try to think more positively instead of whenever you feel that there is boredom in the relationship or that there is, you know, um, something that is just, it's becoming almost like an everyday routine and you got to spice it up by, you know, making them jealous. What they're saying is you got to keep that in check. People quickly get tired of that as well. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.